Hope y'all are doing well. Thanks again for stopping by my channel for those who are returning and thanks for those who are new. So today we're going to be talking about my Mr. Darcy personal size. This is my original traveler's notebook and I said I was going to do a flip through. I haven't done one in a while. So I don't have a whole lot in here. I've got an eye doctor's appointment card in here. And I've got little note tabs. And then I have a little stencil. And the stencils in here. So y'all have seen this before. It's still the same. I pretty much keep things the same. Y'all know this already, the ones who've been following me for a while. I have this thing that I made. It's like a little case for my checkbook and receipts. I've already taped it up and everything is falling apart now, but my checkbook's in here. No receipts. Usually with my receipts, I go over them, put them in the roster, and then and that's it. So, so far, it's doing all right. Still kicking. Now, this is a Tim Holtz pen. I just saw I got a shopping list. Oh. <laughs> and then PetSmart, because that's now added to my shopping list because we have a little pup. Let me show you. He's sleeping over there. He's a really good pup. Back to our scheduled broadcast. And then I have Target, Costco, and then Earth Store. Okay, so this little booklet I made myself. Y'all have seen this. Still the same. And vellum paper and my this is like a goals page. I update it every so often and I think for the most part, I've done all of these, except I've got to practice my French and my Japanese more. I really do have to. These are old journal entries here. And this is just plain copy paper. If y'all didn't see my do-it-yourself traveler notebook inserts, um, I'll link it in the description below. And then you've seen this. And then my wish list. Oh, yeah, I've got a few. I, I need to um, check some of these. With my Lilliput from Caveco in the Fire Blue. I just absolutely love this fountain pen. It is my all-time favorite. Okay. I got, and that was actually part of my wish list. Got my dip pen, got my Pilot Kakuno. Oh, uh, let's see. No, I don't have that one yet. Don't have that one yet. Don't have that one yet. And I kind of do have that one, but not really. Don't have this one yet. Okay. And the dip pen and the Pilot Kakuno, I'm going to do a video, a separate video on that. And then this is blank. And the test schedule, y'all, like 30 minute, 45 or hourly increments for daily. I don't know. I like it in my Nano better than I like it in my personal size. I don't know why. I just do. Okay, let me close this before I run the ink dry. I don't want that. That's one thing about fountain pens. You really have to be careful not to keep the lid open. Okay, and then after that, I have my sunflower vellum paper. Let me see. Okay, y'all have seen this. I've already done all of these, so that's what you can see. It's my YouTube schedule, like what I want to put out there, what I'm doing. Am I editing a video? Do I need to film it? Do I need to put the sound in it? All that stuff and what links I need to add. And then this, yeah, this section is still a surprise, but y'all have seen this section right here. This right here. So this right here is our things to do for our Japan trip. I know y'all that have been following me, you knew that our Japan trip was canceled because during the time frame that my daughter has been there, the borders was closed and she was supposed to return at the end of last month in July, but she actually decided to stay and she got hired on with another company. So she's there now and because she's still in her probationary period, she doesn't have any time off, so we're still planning on going there to visit her, but 
because of that probationary period, we don't know how soon she can get time off. So it's kind of, I don't know. I'll let y'all know. Okay, so that's the other end of the vellum paper. And then this right here is a section that if I am talking on the phone or something like that and I need to jot down, but the names are over here and I'm coming that up. Okay, that's the end of that. And this is the back of the booklet. And then this, I told y'all that I got another order from Paper Penguin. And this is another set of my weeklies. Let me see if I can show y'all something. I had to cover names on here. This right here is a wink. I just wanted to show you what it looks like. After the weeklies, I have my journal. And this is another booklet from Paper Penguin that I just ordered, and it is Tomo River paper that is prior to 2020. So this is the old version of Tomo River paper that I wanted to test out. And after that, this is a little folder. It's like just made of plastic. And it goes around this last booklet. And I just keep stickers in here. Like all kinds of stickers. I think y'all have seen this before. This is my old journal. And where I keep my calendar. I am now, let's see here. Okay, so yeah, I had to cover some names on here. So this is my calendar for August, and yeah, this is the other half of the folder that I keep stickers, scrap paper, in here, and then in the back I just have my stencil, and my address labels, and my stamps. And I did have a pen loop in here because I... I haven't really been going anywhere, so I've been keeping a pen in here. And then of course, if I do stick it in my bag for a short trip, then I haven't taken off the loop. It's fine. So that's that, y'all. It's a short video. I know there's more videos to come. I'm looking forward to sharing more with y'all. So I really appreciate all the subs that have stuck it out with me. I know that I've been slow with my editing. As you know, we just adopted a new pup, so he's been taking up a lot of my attention, which is fine. I absolutely love him. Our whole family loves him. And yeah, there's more videos to come. I'm doing a lot of editing. I already have the videos filmed and everything. It's just my editing is kind of slow. Plus the new school year, and I've been busy with that. Um, as y'all know, I homeschool my son. I really appreciate y'all being patient. And thanks also to my most recent subs. Check out some of my other videos, y'all, if you haven't. Give this a thumbs up if you liked it. And my fountain pen collection has grown. So there is a video about that. And I hope to share that with y'all soon. So I want to thank you so, so much for everyone that comes back and watches these videos. And I look forward to sharing more. And I will see y'all in the next one. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.